Hey guys. Yeah, it's me. I shaved. I feel better. Don't feel like I got a damn um, hairy bobcat stuck to my face now. <laughs> but um, I just want to chat with you guys for a minute. Um, August 11th, my wife's going into surgery. She's having knee surgery. And the way the doctor explained it, you know, it's going to be a longer recovery than what we expected. So, um, from now until the 11th, I have just been busting my butt. Sorry, I was watching a, a dove fly over me and land above me, hoping it didn't crap on me. But, um... Yeah, I just been busting it because when she, um, her recovery time is going to be like two weeks instead of a week, they said. Um, so, um, it's, uh, I'm just trying to get a bunch of wood in here because time she gets back to work, you know, I'm going to be, it's going to be the beginning of my wood season and it's going to be butt holes and elbows. But I don't know if you guys, any of you guys ever remember that um, Michael Keaton, Terry Garr movie back in the 90s, Mr. Mom. Well, that's going to be me, Mr. Mom. I have to get the kids up, cook them breakfast, um, take care of the four-year-old, um, split wood, do the errands, wash the clothes, clean the house, take care of Tanya. <laughs> Yeah, make dinner, you know, help with homework. I, yeah, I'm going to be, after the 11th, I'm going to be pretty well. I'm going to try to get to you guys, you know, making videos and everything like that. But, you know, I, I'm going to try. I Like I said, I've got a ton of videos I want to get to you guys. But it seems like, I don't know, this summer... With Aries getting sick, then getting hurt, now with the the her Matanya surgery, it's just been a rough summer, and um, this heat ain't helping. Whew. They said Friday and Saturday it's supposed to be like 95, 97 heat with the humidity, and it's supposed to be feel like 102, 103. It's friggin' brutal. You know, we, we try to get what we can. Uh, we went today, well, yesterday, and got some more of these logs. There's some more over over that way. But we just got two wore out to unload these. Like I said, these are going... Let me get down here so you can see them. If I can do this right. Um, there we go. That's hickory. And what I do, they're 40 inches, and we take them to the... Um, to the the hickory plant where they make handles you know axe handles and maul and uh, sledgehammer handles and stuff like that and um and we sell them you know it's kind of funny this truck loaded down you know i'm a squatting as i'm going if i get 15 logs on here i'm a squatting luckily what the department of transportation don't pull me over and find me but knock on plastic, it hasn't happened yet. But um, yeah, I just want to just want to touch bases with you guys on that. You know, if I if I don't start putting out more videos or anything, don't think anything. It's just you know I've got a lot on my plate right now, and with this coming up, whew, I'm just trying to get prepared for it. Another thing. Um, you know, I, I put videos out, and I speak my mind. And by no means whatsoever am I telling people not to defend themselves. Defend yourself no matter what. I don't care if you have to pick up a rock and throw it and hit somebody between the eyes, if that's the only way you got to defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend your family. I've never said never defend yourself. I am the first one that would pull a trigger on somebody if they're trying to rob me or harm my family. With no regrets, no remorse, I will be the first one to pull the trigger. 
I've never, I've never said for anybody, don't defend yourself. Hell, nowadays, if somebody's breaking in your home or trying to hurt you, defend yourself. Defend yourself to the fullest max. You know, go for it. Uh, I will. I mean, even if the fight's over, you know, if I've landed 10 punches and the guy's knocked out laying there, I'm going to throw 20 more onto his ass, make sure he don't get back up and just to teach him a lesson. But, um, you know, I've never, ever, ever told anybody not to defend herself, you know. So I just want to clarify that. And, you know, I like comments who, you know, people who disagree with me. That's cool. I mean, it makes good conversation, good debates. And we walk away feeling each other's made their point. Uh, you know, I never want somebody to be a robot or a slave or whatever it, you want to call it to completely agree with me 150% all the time. Yeah, I know, no. But I'm not like that, you know. I, I question everything and everybody. But, um, you know, I'm just a special kind of prick, I guess. You know, one in a million. <laughs> but, um... But, you know, I, I've received some comments that, you know, that if I, you know, I block people if I, if they don't agree with me. I, only reason I block people, if they become pricks and cussing or calling names and stuff like that, then I'll block you. But if you disagree with me, I, that's cool. You know, me and um, Big Dog, we've had some disagreements. And it's been cool. We've had some pretty good debates and disagreements, and I like that. You know, I think he, I've never met him, but I think Big Dog's a pretty cool guy. But, um, you know, like I said, we're on here to exchange ideals, exchange viewpoints, to help one another, and um, that's cool. You know, the thumbs down. It's funny, the people, most of the people who gives me thumbs down never makes a comment. But there's a few that gives me thumbs down and they make comments, which, which is cool because we, like I said, we disagree on viewpoints. Cool with me. But um, I just, just asked, if you're going to give me a thumbs down, tell me why. Express your opinion. Express it in a decent way because none of my sub friends want to hear the cussing and the name calling or anything like that Because we just like I said, I'll block you and I'd probably get a pat on the back from a lot of people for blocking people Who gets on here and call wants to cause trouble? But if you're gonna give me a thumbs down, tell me why I mean there'd be no hard feelings You know, I, I it don't bother me to get thumbs down. I mean Hell, I'm not on here to become a, a superstar or or anything like that. You know, I, I, I got three boys to worry about. And as long as I'm a superstar dad in their eyes, that's the best job in the world. I could care less about the other. But, um, yeah, I just want to touch base with you guys on a few things that's been on my mind. And... Um, let you guys know I'm not if you don't if I don't put out a video like I usually put out there's the reasons why you know I'm trying to get all this wood brought in here so um, yeah, I got like I think about three weeks maybe less than three weeks the boys start back to school August 7th she goes to surgery August 11th hell my birthday is August 18th Damn, I just remembered that. Big be a big 48. Man, I'm old. I'm getting old. <laughs> oh. Where's the where was 18 years when I was 18 years old? Those were the good days. Nah. I, I like my boys. I love my boys. I, I'd much rather be now than 18. But um you know, like I said, there's just a bunch of um, 
just a bunch of life going on and you know I don't want you guys thinking that I've quit or that I've um, you know it's nothing like that it's just you know if I can get one in in the midst of everything else you know I will definitely uh, put one out there um, I, another thing I want to answer to you I want to specify is you know I, I'm subscribed to a lot of you guys out there and I do watch your videos sometimes I don't reply and I've been asked hey how come you haven't been watching my videos I do watch your videos just sometimes I don't reply you know because a lot of times you know you know you guys done a great job and um and i i hate to type honestly i do i hate to type i hate to text oh god i'd much rather somebody call me on my phone and talk to me i don't care if it's a a 20 second phone conversation instead of me sitting there making love to the keyboard on my phone with one finger trying to figure out all this you know this word and that word then you get to autocorrect you get it all typed up and you look and it's totally you don't even know what it's saying i think it's chinese or greek because all the autocorrect kicks in it's crazy on my on my phone if you put with in 28th pops up and it, it's it's screwed up <laughs> But I hope you guys understand. I do watch everybody's video that I'm subscribed to. I'm sorry I don't comment, you know, but I do watch. So I am supporting you guys. Um, I would like to do a couple, I would like to do a video, a shout out video for a couple of um, um, sub friends of mine. You know, I'll, I'll do a video of that here in the next day or two. And, um, you know they're, they're pretty good channels but i will definitely do a shout out video for you guys and um i guess right now it's just a calm before the storm and i'm trying i'm getting ready and um i'm gonna give it probably another 30 40 minutes for it to cool off a little bit more and um, get out here and start moving wood around, start stacking, start splitting. And um, my day will probably end probably about, probably about 10, 10.30 tonight, you know. Maybe be sooner if I get too wore out. But I just want to let everybody know, you know. And thank you guys for... Um, you know, I've got a, a lot of cool letters, and I got some cards, and it's just people saying, thanks, Mike, enjoy your channel. You know, that's, I love going to the post office box and open it up, and there's cards and letters there. That is the coolest thing for me, and I do appreciate it. I have been asked if about a PayPal. Um, I've checked into it. Um, I don't know if I'll get it or not. Um, number one, I don't know how to link PayPal to YouTube, so I have no clue how to do that. If I can figure it out, I will. But, um, other than that, you know, um, I just do appreciate the, all the cards and the letters and everything. It, it is, um, I, I thank you guys. I really do. I'm glad you guys like my channel. I'm glad you can put up with me because, like I said, I can be a prick at times. And um, but I'm just trying to help. You know, I'm trying to help people because when I first started, out, I had nobody to talk to or anything like that. I, I had to figure out stuff on my own, and you know, some of the stuff I figured out might be totally different than what you guys figured out. But we're helping one another. That's the main thing. We're giving each other ideals. We're giving each other suggestions. And we're helping one another. And um, like I said, I've got, a, I've got a couple of knives that I got extra that I'm going to be giving a, doing a giveaway for. Because, you know, I've got 
you know, I got a couple of knives that I bought and um, I'm going to give them away to somebody who needs them on here. And that's what we do. We help one another. And um, I'm sorry I'm shaking. Um, it's the heat. <laughs> but um, again, guys, thank you guys. I hope you guys understand, you know, my way of thinking and talking, I guess. Because, hell, sometimes I confuse myself. But I'm going to get off of here. And I hope everybody, everybody has a great day has a safe day and keep prepping and um, if you guys guys any questions you want me to answer you got anything you want to know you can like I said my PO box is on my um, my homepage of YouTube along with my email address you know you can write me a letter you can email me you can message me through YouTube if you guys got any questions and if you guys want to just email me and um, you want to talk on the phone I'll um, send you my phone number. I talked to quite a few um, YouTube friends on the phone. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like talking to you guys. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go spray myself down with off because these are some mean mosquitoes this year. So I was talking to a farmer, and he said, because um, we're having this type of... Um, summer we're going to have a um an early cold fall and winter which that don't hurt my feelings at all i can do more in the cold than i can in the heat but um see i'm still ranting anyway guys be safe and i'll talk to you guys later bye for now guys